Good morning from Santa Marta, Colombia. When I told friends and family that I was traveling to Colombia, people were very worried. They wanted to know, is it safe for women to be traveling through Colombia alone? That's a really good question because not just a year ago, fellow Canadian YouTuber Alina McLeod came here to Santa Marta and had an attempted robbery by gunpoint. It was a terrifying experience for her. And so why am I here less than a year later? Now I've got to be honest, I don't really subscribe to solo female travel tips. I have been traveling traveling the world for the last 12 years, writing on my website, Bacon is Magic, which shares the best food around the world and how to make it at home. And I've never really experienced any kind of issue that I would not give as a tip for both men and women. In fact, I think one of the only things I really experience as a woman in Latin America is catcalling. And here in Colombia, it's pretty mild. Usually a man might walk by you, say you're beautiful, and that is that. But there are some things that you need to know when you're traveling Colombia. Colombia can be safe, but here are five things that you might want to consider before you take this trip. Where you go matters, where you stay matters even more. So when I first arrived, I talked to my taxi driver and I asked him, what streets were good, what should I avoid? And he said to me, okay, Calle 13, up to about 20-ish, start at the Malacan, the waterfront, up to the main drag. Now, when you go outside of that, it starts to get a little bit more risky. Not to be afraid, but maybe I wouldn't want to walk with my camera out. Now, he was driving me to a hostel that was not within this core, and I could see what he meant. In the day, it was fine, there were lots of people around, but at night, there weren't. And so this is a very basic piece of advice, but don't walk down streets that people are not on if there are no street lights and if the stores are closed. Even if you're with one or two other people, you do not want to risk something happening at night. I eventually moved to a new hostel, Hostel Españolete. It was on 13, very central, lots of security guards around, lots of people around. And also the security guards actually would warn me, don't go down this street, don't go down that street because they were right on the edge. And so it felt much safer and they knew that I had my camera and they wanted to prevent anything bad from happening to me. Now let's talk about safety in Colombia in the day versus at night. Of course at night you're gonna have to take extra precautions. However, what I really like about Santa Marta is that there are lots of people around at night, it is very well lit, and you can't really stand anywhere without seeing police, city security, or private security. And that's because the city and the local businesses really want to keep tourists safe. So if you head down to the Malacan, the waterfront, you're going to see lots of families out, groups of friends, lots of people walking around. It's very well lit. There are also a lot of city security and police walking around. It is somewhere where you can walk down the road and you're absolutely fine. But there are a few tips that you might want to know. One, if you're going to the club, do not bring your phone. The first place that I stayed at, I can't even tell you how many people that I overheard saying they were at the club the night before and someone took their phone. I think the scam is they kind of bump you, take your phone, and then they run. You're in a crowded club, you've been drinking, you don't need it. Number two, do not go to an ATM after 10.30 p.m. Now here is a solo male travel tip. Yes, this tip is just for men. If you're coming down here, Colombian women are beautiful. And if you're hoping to hook up with someone, you need to know this. If you're on Tinder and a woman offers to come to your hotel to have a drink or is at the bar, at the club, and wants to go home with you, you need to be very afraid. Colombia does not have a culture of one night stands. Women do not just come to your hotel after meeting you on Tinder. What is more likely is going to happen is that you're going to be drugged by scopalamina, which basically keeps you alert but paralyzes you. They're going to rob you, and if they give too much of it to you, you're going to die. For more information about this, watch the channel Life with David. I think he covers it very well, but it is a real issue in Colombia, and that is because tourists come here and men don't understand that this is not the culture here. So any woman who is too friendly, too aggressive, and they're not a sex worker, that means they're up to no good. And now on to my favorite topic, food and drink. I am here to try traditional Colombian food. I've been eating in the street. I've been eating in restaurants. I've been drinking lots of things. It has been fantastic. You can do it too, but you need to follow a few guidelines. 
First of all, do not drink the water in Santa Marta. It is not safe. You will get sick. Locals don't drink it. It's not worth it. Just buy it in the supermarket. They sell big bottles of water. It's very cheap. You also want to avoid the bolis vendors. You'll hear them yelling, bolis, 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 and they'll have a little cooler. That cooler is full of these really cheap, cheap, cheap drinks that are baggies of sugared flavored water. Yes, it's traditional, but it's basically like Kool-Aid. Do not take the risk. It is not filtered water. You will get sick. However, you can drink juice in the street. So you've got like lots of um, pineapple smoothies and different drinks, Corozo, Agua de Panela con Limón. Oftentimes you'll see them in these fish tanks. Those use filtered water. You do not need to be afraid of those. I've been drinking them all week. They are delicious. You also want to avoid the sausages in the street. They come out around 3, 4 p.m. They range from bright red to bright orange and locals say it's like playing roulette. Sometimes it's absolutely delicious and the next day sometimes you are paying for it. They might want to take the risk, I do not. However, I would take the risk here and that is to eat arepas. Arepas are a traditional Colombian dish. You'll find them in the street but in my last video I shared one of the best places to eat them and that is at Arepas Yiya. And if you really want to try one of those sausages, they also serve them there too, and they're safe. You don't have to worry about them. Go there. Now, if you only know one Colombian slang, one phrase, you need to know no dar papaya. And that means don't give papaya. But what does that even mean? It means you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you could be taken advantage of. Locals will always give you this advice. And what it means in practical terms is you need to be aware of your surroundings. So do not walk around town with your phone out, not even in central. I usually pop into a store if I need to use up my phone, if I need to look at a map. You don't want to have your phone on the table. And I know you're thinking right now, you're out with your camera shooting a video. However, I was smart about it. Minimizing risks, I came out early and I found El Tio Restaurante where I asked security, Enrique, if I could film in their patio while it was still closed. A couple police joined and all of a sudden I feel absolutely comfortable shooting this video with you. A couple of things you might also want to consider is how you dress. So Colombians, when they're out, they look nice but not too nice. Women do not wear flip-flops unless they're at the beach, they wear sandals. There are lots of cheap stores here. If you really wanna blend in, you can buy a pair of sandals for the week and you will look great. Don't dress down too much. You also don't wanna look like a slouchy backpacker. That screams, I'm foreign. And finally, if you're looking for drugs, prostitution, gambling, guys, you're gonna meet the wrong people and the chances of something happening are really bad. My last piece of advice here is use travel insurance. I use World Nomads, I'll put a link below, but I've claimed on it after being robbed abroad. It also has health insurance. It is perfect if you're in a foreign country. It doesn't cost a lot and it actually gives me a lot of peace of mind that if something did happen, my camera is just a thing and I can replace it. start the final section. Did you know that 76% of people who watched my last video have not subscribed to this channel? If you have not subscribed, it would help me so much. I share food and travel and there will be lots of it in future videos. But here in Santa Marta, I have taken yellow cabs. I took one from the bus station to my hostel. And as I said, it was safe, the driver was nice, and then also it's a standard price. If you're out at late at night here, you definitely want to take a cab home. Spend the extra one or two dollars. It is not worth risking it. Another thing that I've heard is not worth risking it is the motor taxis. And so people have said to me, some of them are fine, some of them are not, it is not worth the risk. So I have not taken any of them and I am actually quite fine with a yellow cab. If you're looking to take a tour in Santa Marta, and of course you are because there are so many beaches and things to see here, you want to go with a tour agency instead of buying it from someone on the street. That way you know that they're licensed, they're reputable, they have insurance. Do not take the risk by someone who seems very charming on the street, but you don't know what you're going to get and you don't know what agency you're with. But I do want to leave you with this one final thought, and it's not about safety in Colombia. It's actually about how we treat people as tourists. There will be people who try to sell you tours on the beaches, try to sell you souvenirs in the street, try to get you into restaurants, try to get you to buy food. The last few years has been tough for everyone. People have families to feed. And right now we are lucky enough to travel. 
So when you're saying no to people, have a little bit of grace, be polite. You can smile and say no gracias and show people respect because we are in their home and Colombia is an amazing place. Join my Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.